Hey everyone, I'm Danny, and welcome to Muggle Magic. This video is a re-release of a past DIY of mine for the Ministry of Magic ID card. If you want to know how to print and assemble the ID, you can watch the original video linked in the description box below. This video is a re-release of the templates stripped of all of Warner Brothers' trademarks. Apparently they didn't want us sneaking into the Ministry of Magic, so I had to remove all of that stuff. Anyway, I'm releasing editable templates, which I will show you how to customize in this video. Go ahead and check out the description box below for a list of supplies you're going to need, as well as the free downloadable templates and let's get started. When you open the zip file you should see a ministry ID PSD file which you can open up in Photoshop or GIMP and you'll also have a ministry ID cover PSD which looks like this. You'll want to open these in Photoshop because I've uh, heard feedback from you guys that some of the text layers and stuff don't work in GIMP unfortunately. The text layers just turn into flat layers. So if you do this in GIMP, you're just going to have to delete those flat layers and create brand new text layers and put the words in that way, which is okay. It just takes a little bit longer. So I've already gone over the tools in Photoshop and the layers in Photoshop. I'm not going to go over that in this. So if you need a uh, if you need to know anything about that, you can watch an older video of mine for how to customize the Ministry of Magic files. Um, that's also in the description box. As you can see, this is not the Ministry of Magic logo. This is actually a logo that I came up with just for a fictional, like, uh, magical government called the Magistration. But if you want to transfer this, or transform this, excuse me, into the Ministry of Magic logo, I'm going to show you how to do that. Or any logo, really. It doesn't have to be the Ministry of Magic logo. First of all, um, if you've installed the fonts that came with this, which you're going to want to do, you can just change this to Ministry of Magic. So that's the easy part that's done. You'll also want to change down here where it says uh, return to the magistration. You'll want to put Ministry of Magic in there as well. So there we go. And now we want to change this M into the Ministry of Magic logo. And the M is right up here. So we'll just hide that layer. We are going to go to Google and search for Ministry of Magic M. So uh, any of these should work. You want the largest one, and this one is uh, pretty large. So let's go ahead and take a look. We can click and drag and drop it in here. So now we have this. Uh, the first thing we want to do is just select Ministry and hold Shift, which gives, which lets you select another portion of the image click and drag, and that let you select Ministry of Magic. And now you can just hit the delete key, deselect, and then you're gonna want to do edit transform, free transform right here, or control T. Now we can drag this over here. And if we hold shift, alt, click one of these boxes here and drag, it's going to uniformly scale this M. So we can just go ahead and drop this M right here. And this drop down box right here is the layer blending mode, and we want to change this to multiply. And now there we go. We have the Ministry of Magic M on here. And there's all there also should be a certification seal right here, a stamp. So if we go back to Google Images, we're gonna search for Ministry of Magic stamp. And here we go, we've got a few here. They're all pretty small so I'm going to grab this one it's the biggest one it's only 562 uh, pixels across but that's okay yeah that that should be just about the right size we can actually hold control T or edit free transform and then we're going to shift alt click and drag to get this larger just so that we can uh, we want to, what we're doing right now is we're going to erase this purple background because we don't want that purple background on it. Now we want to click W or select the magic wand tool over here. And we are going to make sure that contiguous is not clicked. If we click on one of the uh, colors over here, just one of these lines here, it's going to select everything 
in the image that is that color. If you hold shift, you can click in more areas because as you can see, it's a little sloppy right now. Okay, there, that's getting a little better. But we also want all these little lines here. That looks good. As you can see, there are little specks of uh, selections over here. If we hide the layer, you can see it a bit better. See all of these little dots out here. We don't really want those. So I'm going to choose the lasso tool and then hold alt. And then as you can see, that uh, puts a little minus symbol. Now if I click and drag, everything that I select is going to be subtracted. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We just don't want all these dots. There can be some like around it a little bit. And that's fine. Just not all of those. That's good. So let's do that again. Hold alt, click, drag, and we're just going to select all the way around this stamp. Okay, now the selection is totally cleaned up. We can make this layer visible again, and then we're going to click this icon right down here, which allows you to add a layer mask. And that's going to mask out everything that wasn't selected. So that's already looking uh, all right. Let's go ahead and apply the layer mask. And that's, you just right click it and then select apply layer mask. Now we want this to be a green color. So let's double click on it to bring up the layer style menu. We're gonna go down here to color overlay and we want a greenish color, just about, I think that first, yeah, just around here, like a dark green. I'm gonna click okay. And then we're going to control T or edit free transform. We're going to alt shift click on one of these corners and drag it down so that the stamp scales uniformly. And we're going to put the stamp right about here. Now click the checkbox or hit enter to apply those changes. It doesn't look the best just yet, but that's okay. If we double click here again to bring up the layer style window, under blending options right here, we have a couple of sliders. Over here on this arrow to the right at the bottom, if I alt and click on just half of that arrow, I can drag this down. And right around here, you can see it starts to allow the background to show through a little bit. And that just makes the stamp look a little bit more realistic. So we're going to leave it right here. Looks like mine ended up right around 46 over here, this number. And that looks pretty good right there. I'm gonna click okay. And that is how my stamp looks. So now we've finished the outside of the Ministry of Magic uh, card cover. So you can save this as a JPEG. I've also gone over how to create multiple uh, page PDFs in Photoshop. And I, I believe I did that in my Borgen and Burks catalog tutorial. There's already a JPEG that's the reverse side of this saved, and that's gonna be included with the templates. So all you would have to do is open that file and this file in Photoshop, and then just follow the tutorial from the Borgen and Burks catalog. So now once you have that saved, we can go to the ministry ID. Again, over here, all of this text here, where it has my information, that's all editable. Um, the signature is editable, or you can just hide this layer and sign it yourself after you print it. But yeah, all the red text is editable text. And in the original tutorial video, video for the Ministry of Magic ID, I went over how to put your photo in here and also how to make it look grainy and black and white like this. So you can follow that tutorial to do that. What we wanna focus on mainly is right here, this M, and we're going to do pretty much the same thing we did here. In fact, if you've already done this part, you can select the layer that has the M on it you can click and drag it up over here. I'm gonna hover right here, and then I'm just gonna pull it in. So I've pulled this M into this file. If I control T or edit free transform, we're going to alt shift click on a corner and just make the M a bit smaller. Finalize those changes. I'm gonna drag the layer up here so it's right above the M layer. I'm gonna hide this M there we go. Now if I use my text tool, I can just change this to Ministry of Magic. So that part's pretty simple. 
Uh, the next thing we want to do is add a couple of stamps in here that are not present. Again, we're going to go back to our Google search. One of them is actually right here, so it showed up. So let's do that one first. We're going to drag this in. Go ahead and add a layer mask down here again with this button. Make sure you have the layer mask selected. Choose the brush tool and make sure you have black as your prim primary color over here. If you don't, you can just click on that box and uh, just drag this around to get the color you want. You want black. You also want to uh, use this arrow to look at all the options right here for your brush and you want to make sure that hardness is up to 100% and then we're just going to mask out these uh, letters because we do not need them. We do want to keep the symbols around here but not these letters. And if you accidentally erased a little bit of these uh, symbols that's okay, you can just swap your color to white and then use the white to just fill that back in on the layer mask. All right, there we go. Now you can apply this layer mask and then what we want to do is use the magic wand selection tool again. Again, make sure that contiguous is not uh, checked and then we're going to click right here to grab this color, hold shift and click a few more times just to get most of it uh, selected. I'm gonna zoom in. I wanna make sure that I got most of this stuff selected here too. That looks good. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's supposed to look like an old stamp anyways. Now let's go ahead and click the layer mask box down here again. And as you can see, we have masked out everything except for what we need, which is the stamp. So we can go ahead and right click and apply this layer mask. We're going to uh, trans free transform this again. So shift, alt, click in a corner, drag it down. You want it to be about this size right here. Accept those changes. Now double click on the layer to bring up the layer style panel. And we're going to do color overlay again. And we want it to be that same green color. So I'm just gonna click okay. Now, down here, I have a, a layer called Stamp Mask, and it's a blank layer. There's nothing in it. It's just for this mask. If I alt, click, and drag this mask up onto the stamp that I just made, then the mask is duplicated onto this layer. So that's why that's there, so that you can use this layer mask. And it just makes it look a little more um, stamp-like. So there's one stamp. Now there's just one thing left we need to do to this file before we're done and that is add the other stamp right here. So let's go back to Google Images. And this stamp, we want to search for the uh, Ministry Wizarding Registry Department stamp. There it is, right here. And this is like the only image I've been able to find online is right here. So if this ever goes away, you know, we won't be able to find this stamp again. But Click, drag it in. This one's gonna go right about here, but let's make it a little larger. So we're gonna transform again, shift, alt, click, and drag to make it bigger, just so that we have a little more to work with. Now we're going to use the magic wand tool again. So we're just going to uh, click on the dark part right here, and that'll select it. And then we want this line selected too. So shift, click here. So we've got that one selected. Um, we can actually shift and click here to maybe select more of the stars, but that actually ended up selecting more than what we want over here. So I am going to alt and click this lighter area by the M here to deselect what I, um, what I just selected. That kind of deselected a little more than I wanted to. So I'm gonna shift and click here. This should work. I mean, it doesn't have to look perfect because it's supposed to be an old stamp. So let's go with this. Again, we're going to use the button down here to add a layer mask. And I think that looks pretty good. Just, you know, it's we're gonna scale it down so it's not gonna look so pixelated. So let's right click the layer mask and apply layer mask. Now let's double click, bring up the layer style panel and we're gonna do color overlay only this time we want to make it purple. So let's slide this up to about here, make it a dark purple, maybe a little bit lighter than that. Let's go with right about here. 
Click OK, OK. Now we can scale it down to where we want it to be. And I want mine to be about like this. And I'm also going to, if you hold the uh, mouse outside of the box for the transform box, you can actually click and drag to rotate the image. So I'm gonna rotate it to about right there and click the checkbox. We also want to use this stamp mask on this layer too. So Alt, click, drag it up and drop it. And there we go. And now you should be ready to go from here. You can save this as a JPEG. There's also the reverse side of this is saved as a JPEG as well. So you have both sides. Just turn that into a multi-page PDF and print. Also, when it comes to some of the resources that I used, actually all of the resources that I used, including this background texture, um, the design of this, uh, the stamps, um, basically all of the assets that I used to make this are going to be available through my Patreon account. So anyone who is a patron of mine can just freely download pretty much anything that I used to make this. And this is just so that you can use these to easily create your own templates and things like that. So also patrons are going to be able to take part in exclusive monthly giveaways. And this isn't going to take away from the weekly giveaways that I already do on my channel. This is completely in addition to that. So if you're interested in uh, taking part with these special monthly giveaways, go ahead and check out the Patreon link in the description box below. And just like in my last video, I will be giving away a Ministry of Magic ID customized for you. So if that's something that you wanna win, there's a link in the description box below to the weekly giveaway. Down there, you're also going to find a link to the 30K giveaway for a Muggle Magic Mystery Box, which contains seven mystery items. Most of these are past projects of mine, but a couple of them are going to be brand new unreleased DIYs, which I'll release after the box is won. And now to announce the winner of the Gilderoy Lockhart 54 question test. And the winner is Jordan Both, Boda, Both. I'm sorry, I have no idea how to pronounce your name, but out of the three, I hope I got it right. Anyways, you're the winner, congratulations, and I've sent you an email with instructions on how you can claim your prize. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you wanna see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.